Hello friends, the purpose of this test is to determine the colour change of any kind of printed and dyed textile product as a result of exposure to water for a short or long period of time and the stain it makes on the adjacent fabric. In this test we use the perspirometer device. Also a 5 kilogram weight must be put on the device so as to provide a pressure of 2.5 kilopascals. The multi-fibre adjacent fabric or single fibre adjacent fabric can be used as the adjacent fabric. We will use the multi-fibre adjacent fabric today. We use the acrylic resin plates in order to place our samples on the device. As the test is about colour fastness against water, we use distilled water. We can use a template to prepare the sample or we can cut the fabric in sizes of 10 cm by 4 cm with a ruler. If there is a possibility to confuse the front and reverse sides of the sample, we can mark the reverse side of the sample to prevent the confusion. I can sew the prepared sample with the adjacent fabric facing each other. As you see, my adjacent fabric is in roll form. I'm cutting this in the same width with the sample. I am sewing along the short side in a way that the adjacent fabric and the test sample are facing each other. If the seams are loose, it will be easier to remove the sample from the adjacent fabric at the end of the test. In this way, I have prepared the sample. If the sample is fibre or yarn and not a fabric, the amount of fibre or yarn that is used must be half of that of the adjacent fabric weight. The sample is prepared by sewing the adjacent fabric to the one side of the sample and the non-diable polypropylene fabric to the other side. I put the sample that was prepared for the colour fastness against water into a container with a flat surface. I'm adding water until the surface is covered. The amount of distilled water exceeds a little bit more than 100 millilitres, but there is no determined amount of solution for this test. However, if the fabric is thicker, more solution may be used in order to cover the sample surface.
I'm mixing the solution with a glass rod well enough to ensure the penetration into the sample. Then I keep the sample in the solution to ensure the absorption. When I'm sure that the solution is absorbed into the sample very well, I remove the sample. And now I'm pouring the excess solution on a plate. Then, the sample is placed between acrylic resin plates and we put the sample into persiprometer. I place the sample horizontally in the middle of the device. I place the lower apparatus. After placing the top apparatus, I put the weight creating a pressure of 2.5 kilopascals and I squeeze the screws. In this way, the excess of water is filtered and then the sample is put in the drying oven that has been preheated at 37 degrees centigrade for four hours. The sample is placed vertically into the oven previously adjusted to 37 degrees centigrade. The oven must be closed quickly to prevent the temperature fall. And then we wait for four hours. The sample is removed from the oven after four hours. I remove the sample from the oven and the oven is adjusted not to exceed 60 degrees centigrade. I hang the sample along the short edge. After the sample has dried, the test is finished to determine the staining and the discoloration. The second step of determination is the fading of color. For this step, the original sample is placed on the left side and the tested sample is placed on the right side. The differences between these samples are determined with the help of a mask. The difference between them is determined with the discoloration scale. There are values on the scale from 1 to 5. These values are enumerated as 1 being the worst and 5 being the best value. Test result is given by comparing the difference between the sample and the original with the scale. Thank <laughs> you.